Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig. Got a special video for you today. If you recall on the last video, Phil Kim was the first to call in. Well, we linked up after the fact and we had a Skype video call. So here is our conversation, part one, from that Skype video call where he's talking about his favorite brand of cowboy boots. If you want to hear our entire conversation, the link to the podcast, which is where the entire 30 minutes is, is in the description. Also, there is a part two of this video, and the link to that is in the description as well. I hope you enjoy our conversation. Thanks for watching. Here is me and Phil Kim. Hey, good to see you. You too. How are you? Great. Thanks for doing this. This is my first time actually uh, doing a Skype call and recording it and everything. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward oh. to seeing seeing your boots and everything. Oh, do I see them now? Sure, yeah. Okay, so what brands you got here? Uh, these ones right here, uh, the suede ones are Lucchese. Oh, damn. That's awesome, man. And these two here, these brown ones and these black ones are from Alvis. That's the brand that you were talking about the other day. Yep. Now tell me, how did you come across Alves? How did you find that brand? Because it seems like a small brand out of Austin, Texas, you said, right? That's right. It was, um, well, you know, uh, because I, uh, when I was down in Austin last year, I was actually part of my Music City tours. Nice. So I went to, the, the trip was Austin, Memphis, and Nashville. Okay. So uh, when I was in Austin, I had planned on getting a new pair of cowboy boots, and then I checked out a couple stores in Austin, and I went to the main one called Allen's. Right. It's very famous, um, but you know everything I tried on there is like seven, eight hundred dollars. So it's just like whoa. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> Way above budget. Um, hold on, let me just turn on the fan. Way above my budget. So then I. Um, I just did a random Google search to see if there were any other stores, and then. Like, you know, what boot shops near me uh, were the, at the hostel I was staying at, and Albies came up. And I go, this is interesting. So I went onto their website, and they said that um, they're a sell direct to the public. They don't do retail. And then I saw their prices, like 300 bucks. I said, wow, that's affordable. I can afford that. Uh, Austin is just a cool city, awesome city. And um, I, so they are known for their food trucks. Um, and then... Um, Alvis was selling out of um, a trailer, like a vintage 1950s tra refurbished trailer, among a group of food trucks. So if you went to their parking lots in downtown Austin, there's like a falafel stand, a gelato stand, Thai food, pizza, and then boots. Wow. So you can go get... So after you eat all of these greasy foods, you have this enormous food high, and then you just want to go buy boots. What a great idea. <laughs> and then I, I just was so, I couldn't believe it for myself, so I, I actually went and um, I tried on, on a pair, and then I bought, bought these, those boots, and I had them shipped to my hostel while I was staying out in Nashville. So, okay, cool. And it was... And they arrived in Nashville, and uh, now Nashville is a city full of cowboy boot shops. They're all overpriced because of tourism. Yep, yeah, no doubt. Go into, you, you'll see stores in that downtown Nashville that say 25% off your first pair, and you buy a second pair, 30% off, and if you buy three pairs, it's 50% off, but that's all bull crap because if you do if you do the research, their they're so-called discount is the same as their MSRP at every other shop in outside the district yeah yeah i mean why wouldn't they people go go there just to pick up the boots sometimes as a touristy thing like you said so why not but yeah it's uh it definitely is overpriced for sure but these brown boots i, I remember as soon as i got got to nashville I, they were waiting for me at reception at the hospital like they had and then I started wearing them around town, and perfect strangers in Nashville were complimenting me on those boots. They said, hey, where did you get those? Nice. In a town full of cowboy boots, people were asking me, and these are quite simple but classic, which I, th I think it says a lot about that. 
But then I told them about uh, the other thing about their business model, how Aldi sells directly to the public and they donate 1% of their profits to local food growing initiatives. Because they have that, if you saw on their website, it says buy a pear, grow a pear, because they're growing pear trees right now in uh, low income communities around Austin. So people could have uh, fresh, affordable, nutritious food all year round. Wow, what a great mission! It is. And I even talked to the guy, uh, one of the owners, uh, asked, thanking when I called them when I come, came, when I was in Nashville, I, his name's Clayton. I said, hey, Clay, uh, thank you for the. Uh, your boots are, the boots arrived, and just to let you know, people, I think it might be worth your while to do a trunk show in Nashville because Perfect Strangers were asking me about your your product, and they love your business model because I said, like, this is about giving back to the community. I said, this is what America is really about. Yeah, that's awesome. Because, I, and, I, and I told them I would wear them very proudly when I go back home to Canada, and the... Uh, Wear, the, wear your product proudly up in the great white north. That is incredible. Great story. Can you show your boot, those boots again? I didn't quite get the full view before. You see it? Okay, nice. So this is their snip toe model. Yep, I was just going to ask you if that, it looked like a snip toe. And this is more of a traditional, uh, slightly rounded, more uh, uh, J-toe. The black ones I got very recently because a, friend, a good friend of mine um, uh, who lives outside of Nashville, every time I go down to Nashville, I always meet up with my friend Sean, and he likes boots as well. And then he, uh, he, he was in, I told him how impressed I was with Albies, and he phoned me up um, a couple months ago in May when it was my birthday, and he told me he gave me a, a, a $50 gift card to get some new boots. And... The good news was is that Albies was willing to ship it to Canada for free because of my reviews I wrote about their product. Oh, wow. Normally awesome. they wouldn't because it's expensive to ship to Canada. No doubt. No doubt. But, um, and so I got those black ones as a birthday pair of boots. And, uh, and it was um, normally now when you do any online ordering, you will have to pay sales tax, like duties, when, you, when it comes across the border. But this time I... They seem to have missed it, so I didn't have to pay any duty. <laughs> hey, cool. That's what I'm talking about. So that's a really cool thing for this company to do as far as customer service is concerned. I mean, it, it's just uh, so amazing that they take the effort to actually do this. Huge thanks to Phil Kim for joining us today on the video. There's another video, too, if you want to check it out. We had a nice long conversation. The link to that is in the description. Our entire conversation is on the podcast. Yeah, I got a podcast too. I got everything. Link to that in the description too. I really liked the part of the conversation where Phil was talking about the boot truck among all the food trucks in Austin. Yeah, almost like a ice cream truck or something like that. <laughs> so here's a little theme. We got boots here. Yeah. We got cowboy boots here among the food trucks with the pizza and tacos and falafels. Fulfill your foot senses just like you did for your taste buds and nostrils and get some cowboy boots today. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.